Hi, this is Mike Haber. Thank you for asking me, what are gratuitous charges? Before we get to gratuitous, let's define the word charges. Whenever anyone gets arrested, that person has been charged by their arresting officer with either a single count or with multiple counts against them, each count being a separate charge or an allegation that a specific crime was violated. So for our purposes, a charge is any count that's levied against you by a police officer. Again, sometimes an arrest is for one lone charge, whereas other times, a single arrest may include multiple charges. For instance, if I get arrested for a plain Jane DUI, I should have one count, one charge of DUI. But if during the course of that same DUI, the officer finds, let's say, open containers or controlled substances, or perhaps unauthorized weapons in my vehicle. Or maybe I was driving on a suspended license or I was fleeing and eluding. Well, then I'm likely to be booked on multiple counts or charges all at the same time. Another example is if I smash a car window, reach inside and steal property that was in the vehicle. In that one criminal episode, I've committed at least three different distinct criminal offenses and I should be charged with at least three counts. In that instance, burglary, theft, and criminal mischief. Okay, so what are gratuitous charges? Simply put, gratuitous charges is a slang term for additional yet completely avoidable counts that a cop levies against a citizen where during the course of a police citizen encounter, that citizen either actually engage, engages in or is perceived as having engaged in disrespectful, condescending, impertinent, or aggressive behavior. This very real phenomenon is known as being held in contempt of cop. And again, it includes both actual and perceived behaviors. In other words, you don't actually need to be disparaging or derogatory to a cop. Rather, the cop simply needs to sense or feel that you are being arrogant or pejorative in order to both hold you in contempt of cop and then to levy additional actual gratuitous charges against you. Run-of-the-mill gratuitous charges include such things as obstruction of justice and resisting arrest, be it with or without violence. Not only do such gratuitous charges increase your exposure in court, but they're also going to enhance your out-of-pocket expenses, such as for bond and legal fees, as well as making your case more difficult for both you and for your lawyer. That said, I thank you for your question. I appreciate your having asked it. Please remember that at Haber PA, it's all about reasonable doubt. And if you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll be putting out more soon.